Okay, interview with Gary Setchell of the Russian Olympic 1, Bedford Town 3. There's chance of sacked in the morning of start. So let's start, Gary, with you feeling the pressure? <laughs> uh, no, listen, I, I weren't feeling the pressure last week when you asked me, but I certainly am now. Um, listen. It's put the record straight. Well, li listen, I, I know my capabilities as a manager. If, if others don't, that's, that's down to them. You know, I can't, I can't influence that. Um, you know, we know we've not got a massive budget for this league. We know that we're having to punch well above a weight to get results. And that's exactly what we did today. You know, we, we led from the front. Um, we, we worked our socks off. We scored three excellent goals. The first one was actually pretty much off the training ground. We worked on the opposite side winger, getting in front, getting across the box. And obviously, Michael's took a really quick throw in which caught him out Drew's got down the side put a great ball in that's a great finish for Connor the second goal is an individual effort by Java he's bent it in the far top corner brilliant finish and the third one Kai Feelings win against Big Daly to head it, and then Connor's movement to score the third the only disappointment is we give a penalty away in injury time the, the, the two centre half well the back four and well the whole team they deserved a clean sheet that was, a, that was an excellent team performance it was an excellent team performance. That's going to be my next question. And that must fill you with great heart following, obviously, the disappointments of the last few weeks. Not just losing, but the manner in which we've lost to shown that, you know, when we are on it, we can be on it. The manner in which we lost, we had 10 men and 2-0 down against Stourbridge. Yeah. Um, it, we had the ball on the penalty spot with 10 minutes to go and make it 3-3. You know, when you lose three on the spin, um, when you lose three on the spin, you know, people question. There's so many unqualified people questioning you and then you know you, you turn up today and you, and you get you get a performance like today and you know you have six or seven forms a season where you're really really good you're excellent and one of them was today and the other times you have to you have to really grind it out and today we've grinded out and when you lose three on the spin sometimes managers lose the dressing room they lose four on the spin five on the spin six on the spin and but if you can't see that these these boys are playing for the football club and given everything they got, if we get beat, that's because we ain't good enough. That's because we ain't littered with four and five hundred pound a week players like some of these teams are. We just have to go get get our players, work our socks off, train hard, and that's what we come and that's what we've done today. We we trained hard Tuesday, we put a great session on Thursday as we did Tuesday, and we've come in here today and we've actually took the training session on the match pitch today, which we keep telling them. I thought without the ball today, we was absolutely superb, and you know we've scored three great goals. We could add another one or two, but today. We haven't made any mistakes and we've took our chances. And that's the difference between a nice point and a sour one. And that is exactly the point that I was going to then come on to, which was the fact that the difference was today, wasn't it? No mistakes. Yeah. Even the penalty was, you know, not really a mistake. Well, it's such, really, that's, you know, I think, I but, think, but that's the difference. I think that's it? a penalty, but I think, you know, the lad's gone over. George has sort of nicked in. He's blindsided George, really. And that's, yeah. that's a bit of a clumsy one. Yeah. He's running out of the box. There's no danger there. If that was nil-nil with a minute to go, you'd be, I'd be steam yeah. coming out the ears. But that end, I'm disappointed for Pedro because I thought he was excellent. The, the long throws, the, the corners, I think, you know, he's come and took 80, 85% of them, which really helped us today. So we didn't have a lot of height in the team. And, you know, after turbulent week with DS leaving, you know, through his, through his work commitments, hold his hands up, was honest and said he couldn't give 100% and he felt that was affecting his performances. And obviously, the disaster we had with Ty yesterday when I found out at 5.45 he was leaving the football club, even though we hadn't had a seven days for him. So I don't know what's... That's your job. I don't know what's gone on there. Listen, I just want to put on record, though. I like Ty. He's a good lad. Um, I do I do wish him all the best because I think he's a good boy and a good player. But I think he could have handled the situation a lot better than what he did do. I was going to say, is there anything further to say on Ty Lufay? Because obviously he left in a disappointing fashion. There is a lot of politics surrounding the situation. Well, like I say, that's, that's your job. As football manager, if he don't want to be here, then I don't want him here. Do you know what I mean? If you know, and They've offered him a great deal. I think they've doubled his money. They've offered him a contract. But for me, if I was a player, that's a sideways move at best. At best. The ground isn't even on the ground. Step six ground. You know, the bottom of the league. Don't know how they got on today, but for me, that's a sideways move. I did try and tell him, it, but listen, they've, they've done what they had to do. I've done what I tried to do and try to keep him. But I think if he looks back at this period, I think Bedford's been good to him. I've been really good to him. I think he could have handled it a lot better. 
absolutely. He'll take care of himself as it was. Yeah, yeah, that's your job. But nonetheless, uh, we, we move on and look at today's game in the sense of yeah. obviously they were sixth, but it is an evidence of where actually we're back to that point of silly season where anyone can really beat anyone in this league, can't they? I think I just said to the boys in there, I said, like, if. If you you know if you don't make mistakes and you take your chances, you win football matches. But you have to earn the right, and we've earned the right today. Um, maybe one or two of the home performances have been a little bit flat. I'll give you that. But today, no flatness. We was at it. Um, you know, we we was proper. We had a we had a we had a we had a great start, and we just built on. And so when we scored the first goal, you just see the confidence come out. And I think in games when you when you're on a little bit of a bad run, first goal is key. We got it today. And we made the most of them. Confidence is key, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is a young group, but some of the some of the negativity around the club at the minute, like surround it's just it's unbelievable. We we won the league with ten points this year. We got we've gone into the a rock hard step free league, and people have got to realise that, you know, and, and like I say, unqualified um, people don't realise that, you know. But you know, we know we. I know what I'm doing. I know my capabilities as a manager, and I'll keep doing the best I can as as long as long as I'm here, which I'm, I'm hoping to be here for many many years yet. So no no resigning. Really no today. resigning. No pressure. You know, I, I've, I've got a brilliant relationship with John Taylor. Um, he's a great bloke. You know, he's I, I class him as a friend as well. Um, we speak three four times a week at length, and you know that's. <laughs> he he know he's play, he's been in the game a long time. He know he knows how tough it is. He knows the crack. Um, but it, there's there's a few who don't. So you know that ain't, that's like I say. Um, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. Do it the best I can. Excellent. And just finally, uh, a week now to prepare for the midweek game. Yeah. Following the uh, Colville game next week, you know, obviously they're going to be on fly. I don't know how they've done at Notts County. Well, they was maybe, winning. They was winning at half time. Well, someone said. Great result from if they have. Had, <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, I've, I've had I've had loads of battles with. Um, Adam Stevens at Colville. Um, he done me in the FA Vars semi final, three uh, 0 at their place, and then we had a hunting at half. I think we won three two, but lost to Magnet. He went to Wembley, um, and then the year after, I think they was eight or nine points clear. Colville Kings in, and at step four, we both got promoted, and we hunted them down late on in the season. So, you know, we've had some good battles over the past decade, and hopefully next week will be another one. There we go. Colville next Saturday at the Erie. Alf Church Tuesday night on the 25th. Half-term football, double header. Get your tickets now, bedfordeagles.net.